Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today at Donington Park, my AMGPPR. Yes, there are some very crazy cars here today. I'm at a track day with Axiom and Contemporary Classics. Contemporary Classics have a lovely Carbon Series 65 LT Spider right beside me here in the pit garages, but it's my first time ever actually driving at Donington Park and in this car, a car that I literally bought and have in the Schmiebermobiles for this purpose. You can get a small sense of what's going by, including that, and I'll have a cup car that I'm actually going to be driving later on. Anyway, this is why I bought the GTR Pro. Let's go out and do some laps, even though it's wet and a little bit sketchy, it's still going to be epic fun. The GTR Pro. I know a lot of you have wondered why I got this car, given I had the GTR and I have the Black Series coming and I have the Roadster, but the Pro, when you're out on track, is right at home. This is even more focused than the regular AMG GTR in terms of the different suspension, in terms of having more aero, as you can see, the extra splitter, the canards, the louvres over here for allowing the air to get out of the wheel arches, the aero blades that you have around towards the back, and even the gurney flap that it wears at the rear edge of the spoiler. This car is at home on track. Cage inside, bucket seat, everything set up. And this is a track that, like I said, until today, I have actually visited, but have never driven. And we have a whole lineup of race cars. There are also a few supercars going around, GT4, Cup Sports, and those kind of things. Plus, what you can hear, that was a GT3 RS, I think 901.2 GT3 RS, but they're also, uh, I've seen out on track an Aventador SV, there's been an Urus going round, there's been another Bentley Continental, there's been a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, let's come through. This is basically set up to go on out. We do have the Sport Cup 2 tyres, which being a track focused rubber are a little bit slippy when the ground gets a touch damp as it is today. But in any case, the car is ready to rock and roll. I will grab my helmet. In fact, I'll just get it started up again so we can warm up a touch work out exactly which mode we're going to have it in, possibly go between Sport Plus, race, maybe later on, do the whole turn off this, because when you have turned it off, you get to play with the lovely traction control toggle, which allows varying degrees of slide and grip, depending on the circumstances. But this car, it's ready to go. Let's go straight on out then. Sport Plus mode to begin with, and like I said, it is going to be slippy. The track is currently drying, but here we go, into the pit lane. Right then, out we go. And the thing I will state that you probably remember me talking about before is that the sound you get out of the speakers in here is something that I have to absolutely shout over. And you can see what I was saying about it being slippery. I'm going to give my windows a quick wipe. I've actually got a Hurricane Evo in the rear view mirror, that's cool. And the Bentley race car. I'm gonna be getting out of the way of the Bentley race car. In fact, I'm gonna put my right hand indicator on to say that I am gonna to stay to the right hand side and he is gonna go flying by. Wow. So what I was saying about the sound of the speakers, it's really loud and really annoying inside this car. And in the Black Series, I hope we're gonna be able to do something to basically code it out. I'm gonna pop the car into manual, into sport on the traction as we go up the hill. <laughs> Lots of cool stuff darting around at the moment. Trying to find the right line, a mixture of wet line and dry line for today's conditions. There's no denying that this thing is fast as we get a little bit light there, watching out for the brakes as we come up to the chicane. I've had some sighting laps, but this is my first, basically, well, it is my first solo outing on the track here at Donington. when you're on circuit with it. It's so composed. We've got the carbon ceramic brakes, not using 100% of braking yet, but the additional downforce from the front end just gives you so much grip and turning. And surprising amounts of traction considering the conditions. It's hard to really portray quite how slippy it is. A bit of understeer there, for example. As so we come round to the start line, carefully does it because this is so greasy onto a bit of the dry line start to feel it twitching around this is why I keep this car in the garage because when you bring it to a track it's so good of all the Schmieder wheels it's the car that I feel comfortable taking out and driving and using as intended it's a very different car to the GTR Roadster of course the names are very similar in theory they share a lot in common but the Roadster is more of a hardcore Grand Touring, whereas this is so 
lot on the home driving like this. It's completely in its element. When you're driving around a circuit, it's so confidence inspiring. The grip that you get out of the front end, especially considering that we're on Sport Cup 2s, and I've only done a handful of laps so far around this circuit in my life. That's a little bit of preparation in advance. So watch out, it's a little bit light there. 130 odd down the back straight towards the chicane. You can feel it squirming on the brakes. Let's try and get this line tight. There we go. The second curve's watching out though, because otherwise we're definitely going to be slipping and sliding around. This is so good. Honestly, this is where the GTR Pro comes to life. When you're out on a track with it, the amount of grip and composure. I'm actually going to pop it up into race mode. Still in manual, obviously exhaust open, just changes a few settings going on. We don't have the adaptive suspension in here, it's just one setup that you can manually configure and adjust. I feel like I've basically got the track to myself at the moment, but one thing I am going to try is pressing and holding the traction button so that we go onto the toggle. So we're now using the 9 stage AMG traction control, inspired from GT3, continued as well into the GT Black series, but that's what allows you to control exactly the amount of slip that you want the car to have. This car is brilliant. Plenty of go. Wow, it gets slippy there as you go light over that crest. This is exactly what this car was built to do. And it just puts a gigantic smile on my face. A small short shift just to keep the car stable with the conditions. It's so good. to get a little bit crazy then. I'm gonna do some laps driving in the 911 Cup car. And just as I say this, the bright green Hurricane Evo is coming on by. But this car is owned by Axiom and they are very kindly letting me drive it. It's sponsored and wearing the livery of Glen Turret, as you can see. But this is proper, proper race car. In fact, a quick look inside. Yeah, proper race car. My first time driving a 911 Cup car. Obviously having owned a GT3 road car, but this a little bit a little bit crazier we can say anyway let me grab my cameras and then let's go out okay okay so you're in neutral already yeah so just press the start button Easy. all right okay. okay my first test pulling away into first gear just a clutch let's see if we can do this okay first step success wow 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 Oh, 
sitting in the pit box. They have a few cars for sale and then of course the GTR Pro which I think I'm going to take out for another couple of quick laps. I just need to catch my bearings for a moment and work out what's what. <laughs> that must be the noisiest car here today. Lamborghini Urus. <laughs> totally, totally absurd. Totally absurd. Makes the GT3 RS sound the most quiet in comparison. Not quite sure what it's down. Sound like some Porsche. Oh, is that an R32? That Urus. That sounds ridiculous. I guess we're going to have the cup coming back in a moment, so I'll get to hear how it sounds from the outside. This has been a pretty cool day today. Like I said, a big mix of cars. The 100th anniversary Conti GT. I feel like I've seen that car before somewhere around the world. That sounds like. Oh, that's the Atom. Such a high pitch sound. What do we have coming next? GT3 RS. 991.1 GT3 RS. And here it comes. It's crazy cool that a moment ago I was driving that car. And we've got the lot, the very loud, very grumbly, flickering light. Listen to that sound. What an engine sound. Epic. Right, let me get back to the pro. Right, back in the GTR Pro, which will mean just enough time for a couple of laps. You can tell we're getting right towards the end of the day, but I want to drive this again after having been in the cup car. So show the wristband, make sure they can see it. Yep, all good. So, out we go. Nobody coming, I think it's gonna be quite an empty few laps. Obviously the tires will all have cooled down again. In fact, they're down to 12 degrees, so we'll have to warm them up a little bit before we're gonna be able to find any of the grip and traction, he says, as we get a major, major, major slide on. 
it's so interesting how completely different a road car is to a proper race car and I'm sure lots of you will be screaming just buy a race car buy a track day car truck it up to events like today but there's something about driving the car up yourself having it on track taking it back home I'm sure I'll have a race car at some point in time in the future it's genuinely fascinating how long it actually takes to warm up normal road tires when it's slightly damp and cold because even now we're a lap and a half in we're still only at 13 degrees. Obviously some firm braking will do a nice job of it. But until they're warm, the grip, the grip just isn't there. This is fun, we've got an Aventador Roadster up ahead, roof off. How cool is that? Roof off on a racetrack is always something special. <laughs> Lambo on the plate. They've indicated to notify that they've seen us behind. Take the wider exit. little grip on T1. One thing you can do with the buttons that you have on the steering wheel is change the mode and what they're actually set up to do. So I can put this into traction, directly use that steering wheel toggle to go onto the ninth stage traction control from the steering wheel, which is a nice little touch. Oh, this is going to be fun. I can see the 911 coming past. I'm going to indicate right, let him go flying through. <laughs> awesome. Don't get too carried away, I can't keep up. That's the thing I've got to remember. I don't have the grip to keep up with them, although I think he might be on slicks now. We certainly need to get the temperature into those. I think that this is going to be my final lap. It's just a little bit too slippy. I've had a lot of fun. I mean, here, a stab on the throttle. Starts playing around a little bit. This car is mega, but I mean, it's nothing like driving in one of the proper race cars, a 911 Cup. What an experience! A bit of understeer again. Yeah, let's uh, let's use the hockey here on the steering wheel. Turn it all back on. Take it easy. Cruise around. Obviously, cool down the car. You want to minimise using the brakes so that they can cool off as much as possible. Use a bit more engine braking. I mean, it's not, to be honest, all up to crazy temperatures because it's not been the most dramatic of driving so far today. Take it easy, bring the car back round, and I think you can probably tell why, at the moment, I've kept this car for days, like today. I just don't know what the future has in store. I don't know if when the Black Series are here, is here, whether it will make sense or not. Time is going to tell. The light outside is quickly going down, but what a mega opportunity to get back out on track with this one of the Shmimobiles, the AMG GTR Pro. I've had the car now for a little over a year, but you might remember when I originally took delivery of the Pro, having had the GTR Coupe for the two years before that, my first bits of feedback were that it wasn't quite as usable. The fact that the car has a much lower front splitter, the fact that it has the much more track-specific suspension set up without the adaptive dampers where you can soften it at the press of the button, the fact that it has the cage in the boot, which made me, I guess, a little bit confused and perplexed by how this fit in the garage. But then earlier this year, when Dumbarn brought it out to the Nürburgring, I did some laps on the Nordschleife. I enjoyed it on the smoother countryside tarmac roads in Germany and also on the Autobahn. Things started to make more sense, which is exactly why I've kept it in the garage to do more of days like this, bringing it today to Donington Park to have some fun driving this car. And of course, to also get into the 911 Cup for a crazy couple of laps. That all happened in an absolute blur. Very, very quick, but a huge thanks to Axiom and to Contemporary Classics for making it possible to come along to drive the Pro as well today. But you can see why I've kept it as one of the Shmimobiles, why it hasn't left with the arrival of the GTR Roadster, because they are very different cars. And to me, given how much I've enjoyed my AMG GT ownership to date, the Coupe, the Pro and the Roadster, that's why for the time being, at least I'm hanging on to both of the two cars that I have. When the Black Series does arrive, I'm definitely going to have to think a little bit more about it because I think as much as you do that three AMG GTs is absolutely bonkers. You might remember a couple of years ago I did once have three Ford Focus RSs for about a month or two um, when I had the blue one, bought the red and the heritage, then sold the blue to keep the red and the heritage and now of course I've sold the red and keeping the heritage. With the Roadster, the Pro and the Black Series, I'll certainly be keeping the Black Series. I'm not sure about the other two yet. We'll have to see 
which one will make the most sense. I think it'd be cool for a period to have all three side by side. That sounds epic to me in the Museum in the not too distant future. But for today, you've seen what this car is all about. You take it out on track. There's so much front end grip. It's so usable. Yes, it's very complimentary. It makes you in some ways think that you're a better driver than you actually are. But I quite enjoy the stress-free track driving that it offers. You can turn up at a track day, take it straight out, go do some laps, and all is well, all is fantastic. It's nothing like the stress levels that come with the McLarens or the Ford GT or something like that. Just an easier, more relaxing track experience. Anyway, epic day. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. That's it for now, though, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.